Hi everybody! In this short video, we will see how to quickly unpack and set up your Gen3 robotic arm. When you open the box, the first thing you will find is the Quick Start Guide. This guide sums up all the information I will give you today. In the first stage of the box, you will find your robotic arm. Then, in the second level, you will find the controller already mounted on the mounting plate and the table clamp. In the second stage of the box, you will also find the emergency stop or e-stop and the power supply. Now that you have unpacked your robot, it is time to mount it in a table. To do this, place the controller on the mounting table at the table extremity and fix it using the table clamp. Make sure that the base shell clamp is open and slide the robot into the base controller, then close. To power on the robot, you first need to connect the emergency stop to the base controller. Then, connect the emergency stop and the power supply together. In the third stage of the box, you will find the Ethernet cable and the power supply cable. Connect the power supply cable to the power supply and plug it into the wall outlet. Before power on the robot, you must check that the emergency stop is turned right to release position. Then power on the robot by pushing the power button in the base controller. The LED will turn blue and you will see the following startup sequence. First, during the booting, the LED will flash in blue. Then, during the initialization process, the LED will be blue and the second LED will be orange. Finally, when your robot will be ready, the LED will be green. Your robot is ready, so you can connect your gamepad by plugging its USB cable to the USB port of the base controller. You can now control your robot using your gamepad. According to the type of your robot, 6 or 7 degrees of freedom, you can use different control modes, Cartesian, Joint or Null Space. You can also control your robot by hand by using the admittance buttons situated on your wrist. For a 7 degrees of freedom robotic arm, when you press and hold the right hand side button, you can control your robot in Cartesian admittance by applying force by hand to move the end effector in translation. When you press and hold the left hand side button, you will control your robot in joint admittance by applying force by hand to move each joint. When you press and hold the two hand side buttons together, you can control your robot in null space admittance by applying force by hand to move joints within null space while retaining end effector position. For a 6 degrees of freedom robotic arm, you will activate the Cartesian unguiding mode by pushing and holding the right side button and the joint unguiding mode by pushing and holding the left button. The null space admittance mode doesn't exist. Finally, you can control your robot using your computer through the web application or our API. To do this, you need to connect the Ethernet cable to your computer and to the Ethernet port of the base controller. The configuration of the communication between your computer and your robot will be presented in another video. This is the end of this video. Now you know how to unpack and install your Gen3 robotic arm. If you want more tutorials, go to our YouTube page and subscribe. Bye bye!